Gaurav, congratulations for your selection in the civil services examination this year. Thank you so much. You have got one of the uh, like topmost ranks in the civil services, and hopefully you are going to get a service of your choice. Very. I hope. Thanks so much. So heartiest congratulations from the team of Lukman IAS. You have been associated with Lukman IAS uh, like you know uh, as a student uh, for test series related to essay and ethics. Yeah. And so now or like you know it, it's an honor to like speak to people like you who have qualified the examination finally and got a rank very good rank you know in the civil services so like you have got all india rank 86 this year so yes, but, uh, tell us about your experience soon after you have seen your result this year it was a very happy experience it was a relieving experience first of all because i saw my name and i could see that i could i will be getting the service which i wanted and to get out of the cycle with prelims just a week after the results so it was a very happy experience and a very satisfying experience that the hard work has finally paid off all right so gorav uh, we would like to know about you as a person like where do you come from what is your academic background and when did you plan to prepare for the civil services examination so i come from this small town called sundargarh in odisha I have I did my schooling from Raurkela, which is a town in Sundargarh only, till class eight, and then ninth and tenth I was in Balangi. This is also a small town in Odisha, and eleventh and twelfth I was in Hyderabad. After that, I went for my graduation in BA LLB to Hidayatullah National Law University, Raipur. I graduated in two thousand twenty, and since then I have been preparing for the civil services. This was my second attempt. Um, the idea to go for civil services, I think, began somewhere around fourth year in my college. I had done all the internships, uh, be it in the litigation firms or corporate firm, and then I decided that civil services is also a natural extension of the subject of law. It's not completely very different subject than other streams. So I thought, "Ki, I'll give it a try." And the subjects that were part of civil services, they were very interesting for for me. I like knowing about new things. I like learning about new stuff, and the whole preparation of civil services is like learning new things every day. so that actually kept me that was actually a very good motivating factor for me during the preparation all right so gorab since you told like it was your second attempt right so these are very initial attempts when a <coughs> person enters into preparation yeah. so it seems like you have been doing very consistent work over a period of you know this short duration of your preparation yeah so, uh, tell us about like how did you go about note making or learning the subjects like how did you strategize your preparation um so with respect to notes making i had figured out for myself that i will make notes only for those subjects which are non conceptual or something where i need to learn the keywords for example be it environment in when in environment there are a lot of keywords similarly in modern history there are a lot of names events which need some kind of memorization if i see geography or economics it's a very conceptual subject where it's a lot of understanding of the subject required so for geography and economics i did not make any notes but for modern history ancient history for uh, environment i made specific very small notes that would cater to my needs particularly in terms of learning the keywords which are there because uh, you need to be very thorough with modern history spectrum you need seven to eight times of revision to remember everything that is out there so for those subjects i made notes but for other subjects again for lakshmi kant also i did not make notes because polity and constitution was a very core subject in law school also so it was not a very new subject for me altogether so i did not make bother making notes for that also but uh, so that was with respect to note making and with respect to strategizing my preparation i knew that i had to keep my sources very limited i need i did not need not do more than one book or one and one or two books for each subject but at least i need to be i need to have revised all the books around 7 to 8 times before i actually go and sit for the prelims exam because it i pre- revision was the key to my preparation i kept on revising 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 i made the court specific time for prelims around 5 to 6 months just for prelims before the actual prelims to see where i am with respect to my answer solving abilities question solving abilities i gave sectional marks to see whether the books that i have selected are working for me or not then strategized on my current affairs that how do i need to approach the current affairs and then i focused on increasing the breadth of my knowledge instead of going deeper into the knowledge with respect to prelims i gave a mock gave mocks i made notes from the mocks 
to pick up on specific points which i have missed out during the preparation so these were the prime area focus of prime focus areas with respect to preparation okay so like you might have also started answer writing at a very early uh, you know time when you started preparation so tell us about your answer writing practices like when did you start and like you know how did you gradually build up on that thing so that like uh, ultimately uh, actually this has resulted into getting such a top rank this year so tell us about how did you go about answer writing so answer writing i made it a point that i will start answer writing after i had understood the subject once first i understand the subject then only i'll get into the answer writing so uh, because i was i started preparing during the college years itself during the fifth year of my college so i did not get sufficient amount of time to do answer writing but because of lockdown the prelims exam got postponed so i had a good 3 to 4 months and i fo- started prepare uh, doing answer writing at that period so the main focus was um, i would download the answer scripts from toppers previous year toppers and i would pick out five questions every day which they had written in their answers answer script and i would try attempting my own right answers to those questions and i would see how different were their answers from my answers what was the difference in quality in terms of their answers what were the things that they are that they are adding in their answers which gave them such high marks so i would assess my answers based on those things and i would always uh, during my initial years the initial answer writing time i would keep a timer with me that if it is 15 markers i would time myself that i would not write for more than 9 minutes and if it is a 10 marker i would not write for more than 7 and a half minutes so i kept on practicing so i think it became a body clock kind of a thing that i would stop immediately till 7.5 minutes and stop immediately after 9 minutes because finishing the paper was a important goal that i did not want to miss out on one or two questions just for the sake of writing a better answers in other question so i would want to finish the entire paper so that was also part of the preparation and that was how i did for the gs and for the law option and then when the prelims got cleared i took up specific test series for each subject and then i focused on that all right so it seems like you have focused more on uh, maintaining timeliness like yeah. being efficient in in writing the answers and yeah. later on you have built up on like you know uh, bringing more quality into the answer yeah. in limited time frame yeah yeah so uh, tell us like what is the importance of answering maximum number of question in gs papers in the mains examination uh, i think if you see if if i am writing a very good answer for a 10 markers i might get 4 and a half marks but if i'm writing an average answer i might get 3.75 or 3.5 or 4 marks so the gap is not more than 0.5 or 0.75 between a very good answer and a very and a good answer but if you miss out on a question all together you have the possibility of losing 3 marks 3 and a half marks so which if if i am not scoring that 0.5 in the starting five questions but if i'm scoring that 3.5 in the last two questions so i'm getting seven marks advantage if i'm right full if i'm finishing the paper i'm getting 5 to 6 marks advantage compared to focusing on writing 18 good answers that 18 very good answers my focus was i will write all the good answers not focus on some very great answers all right so uh, like there are many people who do specialized preparation for the essay paper right since you have joined the essay test series at lukman ias Uh, tell us about your strategy for preparing essay and how lukman ias has been helpful in this journey i think one of the primary uh personality or somebody who i could give credit to for my essay is lukman ias because in the first attempt i had scored only 107 in essay but this time i could zoom it up to 131 and the quality of questions that lukman ias had in their mocks i think that was something that was comparable to the actual essay paper because this time essay paper if you see it was a very difficult and a very philosophical kind of a thing but lukman ias had focused on those philosophical areas itself so i was not i did not get stumped in the exam hall and i could finish the paper 10 minutes before the time timer went off i was very comfortable during the exam hall and i would not just do the two te- two questions to finish the tests during the week i would write the six other uh, write essays on the six other topics as well so as to increase my understanding of the concepts which are there because it's a very conceptual paper so my focus for essay was that i would first if i see a topic specifically philosophical topics i would try to explain it to myself whether i am understanding the topic or not i would write it on the rough pages what it means to me whether i am getting the gist of it or not and then i would write 
everything that is associated be it political social economical technological ecological philosophical ethical moral sports movies netflix anything that would come to my mind and i would start jotting out examples and then i would start writing what why when how with respect to that particular topic and then i would make a algorithmic arrangement as to what would be the structure of my essay from introduction then what then i'll give certain examples then why certain examples when certain examples then the the negative aspects of the topic then certain examples and then give suggestions and conclude the answer but i because i had scored very low in my first attempt i was specifically scared about essay so i was writing one essay every day without fail from the from morning 5:30 to 7 and then in the evening i was assessing my own essay apart from the two essays that i was writing weekly for lukman is all right so it seems like you have done a planned study related to essay and yeah. put consistent effort uh, yeah to the standard of the essays that you have been writing yeah so uh, let us discuss about the essay, uh, ethics paper so you have been associated with ethics test series at lukman is so how uh, this test series helped you and how did you plan your ethics preparation i mean like you know for this year's attempt so in the early phase i was very clouded in my understanding with respect to ethics i was picking up random books to make notes of it without actually understanding what those terms means like i would not understand the difference between ethics morals and values but i would try to attempt the question based on the limited understanding i had from the books but then when i wrote lukman is mocks i realized that i had a very flawed approach towards that so then i started making notes of my own based on my own understanding of what ethics are morals and values are and took help from the answer scripts that the ethics is provides uh, lukman is provides the model answers to get an understanding and i also saw a lot of uh, after the test the discussion videos that uh, lukman i has said posted with respect to sir and i would gain a deeper understanding of what those ethics questions mean what is the actual difference between aptitude and attitude what is the actual difference between laws and ethics so for that i took a lot of help from lukman i as i accentuated my notes with respect to those particular topics i took help from sir's uh, videos to make notes for examples with respect to the correct understanding and with respect to case studies also it the, to the, the actual meaning of the keywords that if it is an ethical dilemma it means dif- something different and if it is an ethical issue it means certain something different so i saw the videos to get un- to understand as to how i can write a better answer with respect to case studies how i could structure my answers what could be my conclusion what could be my introduction so i think lukman is with respect to ethics also it they played a very important role in my preparation all right all right so uh, like uh, tell us about your overall experience of writing you know prelims and mains exam of this year i mean uh, how uh, like you know how it was different for you as compared to the previous year <coughs> with respect to prelims i think it was not much of a difference compared to last year particularly because for the prelims of 2021 i had only 15 days from the final results the final results were announced on 25th september and the actual prelims was something 10th october and i could not see my name in the final list so i had to gear up myself that it is 15 days of prelims so start preparing for it so i relied on my previous notes just made sure i give one more reading of the previous notes and appear for prelims and thankfully i cleared it for mains i think there was a big difference this time i was more i was more able to understand the demands of the question compared to last year Com- last year it was just about answering the question but this time it was about answering the demands of the question to answer what the actual examiner wants to know from me and that was because i did a deeper analysis of all the papers be it gs2 be it ethics be it essay particularly and law optional so this time i think i was very better prepared when i went for mains exam compared to last year last year it was a hit and miss but this time it was a very specific actual aim at the exam all right all right so uh, like thank you so much kara for interacting with us today and thank you so much you will uh, like insights about the strategy and preparation that you have done so hopefully the students will get to know about a toppers you know like uh, ideas toppers perspective and they may implement some of these points so that like you know they can also get a good rank in the coming year yeah thank and you so much so uh, like uh, we wish you all the best for your you know upcoming future and we want you to excel in your career and like asan sari sir especially i mean like you know uh, ask me to uh, yeah thank you for you know joining the session thank so, you so much thank you so much for for join, uh, joining and interacting with us today thank you so much 
वेलकम टू लुकमान आई स्टडी जनरल स्टडीज विद लुकमान आई फॉर बिल्डिंग कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव नॉलेज जी एस पेपर टू एंड फोर विल बी टेकन बाई एस अंसारी एंड अदर पेपर विल बी कवर्ड बाई रिनोन फैकल्टीज लाइव क्लासेस आर एज इफेक्टिव एज ऑफलाइन क्लासेस दी क्लासेस आर हाईली इंटरक्टिव इन नेचर योर डाउट्स एंड क्वेरीज विल बी एड्रेस एंड देर विल बी डिक्टेशन ऑफ नोट्स इन द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स लुकमान आई एस हैज सेटअप अ नेश इन द फील्ड ऑफ यूपीएससी गाइडेंस 